Jerry, thank you. The community is convincing the Birmingham Waterworks to halt a security fence project. So last week, WVTM 13's John Papke introduced us to Brook Highland residents' fight over Lake Purdy property. And today, he shows us how they took their fight right to the board. Leanne Dasher lives within feet of the Birmingham Waterworks board property around Lake Purdy. Last week, she told us about the fence the utility installed behind her backyard without notice. Today, she and her neighbors complained to the Waterworks board in person. The devastation of the trees that y'all are pulling down is a scar on this land that our lifetime will not be rendered. News of the security fence caught board members by surprise. Many claiming the barrier and the tree clearing behind it were not approved by them. A board spokesperson defended the project. We want to be considerate of the residents' concerns, absolutely 100%. Um, but at the same time, we also have to protect the access that serve those residents. Resident Randy Visser says the fence near his property is easy to bypass. If you can tell me this is security, that is a joke. If not a lie. Some residents also opposed a recent lease for bow hunting on the same property to developer Mark Peoples. Board member George Munkus called for it to be terminated. To lease the land out for $20,000, and I think you said $3 an acre, that's just not a good business practice. Ultimately, the board voted to keep the hunting lease in place for now, but halt the fence construction for the time being. In Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.